I believe it is so important when you come in, because the Bible talks about coming into his presence. When we come into his presence, there's power, there's healing, there's salvation, there's deliverance. So if I come in into his presence, this life would not be no expectations. That means I'm going to leave just the way I came in. But when I come in expecting him to do something, so my eyes, I have a goal, I have a target, I have a focus. That God, as I come in, as I worship you, I'm trusting you to do whatever you need to do in my life so that when I leave here, I will not be, leave here the same way I came. I'm believing in my heart that this is going to be the night for your miracle and for each and every person that's going to be there. There was a Thrive a couple years ago. I, I don't remember how long, I wanna say three or four years ago. And um, I remember pastor gets up and he's like, y'all, um, I don't know what this looks like, but I really feel like we're supposed to be washing feet. And so at Thrive, we had a spontaneous foot washing. And I remember it because we had a guest drummer who had never been to our church before. And how um, he said, this has been the most refreshing thing I have ever experienced. And so I just, I just love, hey, we didn't plan on this. This wasn't even on our radar. I don't think our church has ever washed feet but um, Pastor felt so led to leave the church to Washington V. Ooh, another moment was, um, I think this was also a couple years ago, um, we were singing The King Is Among Us, and we all got on our knees, and we stayed there for a smooth, what, three, four minutes? And then uh, Christy started singing about God being the lifter of our head. And what's wild about it is um, we felt this unction. Everyone in the whole church felt this unction to bow. And then we felt permission to stand back up once Christy started singing how he's the lifter of our head. So it was a powerful time. Thrive is a powerful time. It's a powerful time. For Chickasha specifically, I really feel like uh... God wants to continue to establish the foundation that he's already established there and just uh, show us that he wants to do more in that city than, than we could even imagine. I would encourage people to expect Jesus. Um, even, as, even as a worship leader, I have a tendency to assume or expect him to be present in a certain way. And um, he always dashes my expectations or presumptions and so I'm learning to just receive and I think that's the most important thing is to come uh, with praise and thanksgiving because he's worthy of it um, come with an attitude of worship um, but also come expecting to receive whatever that looks like to not presume or assume or anything to just that's it.